So, and as you see, guys, after the restart, I'm generating over 300 FPS, like slightly over 300 FPS, depending obviously on where I look. Okay, for all the console players, you can skip to the timestamp there because you can't use all these settings. They're for PC only. But they will be basically downloaded and um, kept up to date by your console themselves. So you don't need to worry about that stuff. You basically already are on the best what you can do. For the PC people, if you have a new PC or if you just never did stuff like that, you need to go to the browser, download a um, driver for your graphics card. So either NVIDIA or AMD. If you just put in AMD um, graphics card driver or NVIDIA graphics card driver, they will instantly show you on the internet those, those websites, right? You download it, you install it, and then you go to this thing over here, at least for NVIDIA on AMD. It should be pretty similar though. Drivers in English. I have everything in German, but it's drivers. You click on install now. Um, probably quick install or look for drivers and then it will basically it's it's self-explaining right it will install the drivers by itself when you have done that you go into the game once you start the game and then you can click on this button over here as you see for this game scum for example it tells me to start the, the game before i can go over here and then it shows you the optimal settings you can press on optimize i obviously don't have it right now because i'm trying to get the maximum fps it's Thing wants to give me like better graphics but i don't want that right now right so that's one thing you can do press it once and then we go into the game later but before we do that we want to check two other things so go to your um search bar and you want to type in device manager in english in germany it's gerät manager when you have this thing open right you can click on your processor right and then you click on one of those cores with a right click and you update the driver for those as well. There's a way to do it in the internet, but you can watch other YouTube videos on how to do that like manually. I just like to do it like this way. When you have this updated, you could also update your SSD card and all the other devices on your PC, but um, that's like not too necessary. But what you want to do then is go to your Windows bar down here, go to the settings or just Press right click and go to this thing. I'll blend the English name in. If you're over here, um, you choose the screen that you're displaying your game on. This is in my case, um, screen one, which is the one you see at the moment. The other one is on the left side. And then you scroll down, you go to this setting over here. I'll blend the name in English as well. Click on it. And then the thing is, it shows you what hurts your monitor can show off, right? Mine can like this is my 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 thingy right it's a lenovo whatever blah 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 this is my resolution that i can get and this is the maximum hertz i can i can show off right and on default they will be 60 fps now you can can't see for a second um it will on default be like this right so that will cap your uh, FPS that you can like show off on your screen to 60 hertz. If that's set in and you have like a very good PC and a very good screen, you will still only see 60 hertz. So what you want to do is go to the maximum that your screen can basically show off. Give me a second. It's loading for me. Black screen. Okay. If you have this done. Then we have basically everything that needs to be set up in Windows or whatever you're using. And then we can go into the game. Okay, when we're in game now, we obviously go to the settings. On the video settings, you want to make sure that this check normally is deactivated. So you can basically generate unlimited frames. If you know the hertz of your screen, you can put the check in put it to your hertz of the, of the screen. Right, so I have this in. Then those are my settings at the moment. Um, you could go to ultra performance over here. And then I don't know what this is like that. <laughs> Graphic settings for PVP. Obviously, I put everything to low besides my view distance. I normally put this to high, but I just want to show you what you could generate if you're going to low. And then over here, everything off too. You can see all my settings on the Discord as well. If you want to check that later. Now we want to save it. Go back. 
And now I will put in the INI. Let's quickly go over here for that. Because over here I know there's like a very nice spot. As you see at the moment I have 160 FPS, which is already crazy insane. On Epic I would have like 80, but that depends on my hardware, right? But now let's put in the INI. Pretty long one. As you see the game looks fucking shit, but now look at this, I have 260 FPS. But there's one thing we can do. Is because also this is like pretty shit, you exit to main menu. I don't know what that changes, but it just it just works, right? Restart our game. So and as you see guys, after the restart, I'm generating over 300 FPS, like slightly over 300 FPS, depending obviously on where I look, because if I look over here, it's going down a bit. But it also depends on your hardware. In general though, as you saw, I went up to like 300 from 150, so it's like double the FPS just through I and I. And all the other settings before will definitely increase your FPS heavily if you make everything correct, right? So um, even if you use an older system, for example, I was using my 2060 Super System um, on an Intel processor, which was seven years old. And I was generating over 100 FPS with all these settings, everything checked, right? And that was in like open, open world areas. And even in base, I had like 50 plus FTS, FPS. So you can definitely make something with your, with your PC, get, get all these FPS, squeeze them out without like, I don't know, overclocking all that stuff. And then, yeah, it should be playable for everyone. And I mean, this is just perfect for, for PvP. Like everything is completely flat. You can, you can see everyone. There's no, no grass, no bushes besides the actual bushes that you can harvest. I know that there is, it's not iron eyes. It's like more game files that you can change on PC to even de-render leaves and everything. But I think I don't know, I don't want to play a game which looks like, I don't know, only only tree stumps everywhere and shit like that. And I think that's like or, like almost just like cheating because pe like people from consoles, they can't use these settings. And then on the other side, I think, yeah, I know that you can also completely de-render bushes and stones, but if I'm walking through an area and I'm getting stuck on something that's invisible, I don't see that this is like very useful to you if you do it like that. So besides that, I hope you can learn something from this. I hope you can use these information. Everything is linked on my Discord as well, like all the all the shit that you need, the INI and everything. So go check it out, and I'm gonna see you in the another one.